so hello guys in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to zoom in from a globe map perspective to an up close view of a site live view of buildings so i, I saw this video from uh, geopolitics on i think on instagram and i decided to show you guys how to maybe do something like this so if you've used geolays before you you would have noticed that you cannot really zoom in to see like buildings and all and there are two methods that i have discovered that you might you can use to do this so there are probably other better methods out there so if you know any better methods please do put them down in the comment section so and before we start please if you're yet to subscribe a lot of you who watch my videos don't subscribe to my channel so if you don't want to use your main channel you can you can use a burner account i know you all have burner account so please subscribe to my channel and that will encourage me to make more videos like this so let's get into it so the first thing you need to do is to create the first method is go go to google studio and create an account if you don't have an account create an account it usually takes maybe a day or so to get approval so and this will be more like a breakdown video because i've already done this and i don't want to go through the whole process of doing it from scratch it's really tedious so normally you have to go through creating a blank project but i've already created this so i'll just go to this zoom here and it's really simple so this tutorial is not really beginners friendly so if you don't if you don't have any idea of how to do this watch my other videos i'll link them in the description below so the first thing i did was that maybe at two seconds first i had to find the location where i wanted to use so for the location i decided to uh, pick austin texas it's i visited here when i was a kid a long time ago so i decided to pick austin texas their texas capital and so all you have to do is i went down to two seconds created a keyframe you have to click here to create a, a keyframe then i went back one second again and zoomed out a bit then created another keyframe you don't have to do this you can just do a straight this thing but you have to click here every time you because it doesn't create keyframes and uh, automatically then i went back to one sec and uh, to zero then zoomed out a lot like this so for the view i removed a uh, map style i wanted it to be clean without the names and everything here then i think this is basically all you have to do here this there isn't much to do here then go down to render so down in render you can rename it then choose a folder where you want it to be saved so you can so you have to render settings that you can pick from you can choose to render it as to your computer straight as image sequence or as video this will render into the cloud and you can download the import, uh, import from there but i'll just use image sequence here then choose the dimension so because it's it's going to be a vertical video you have to choose a dimension then choose where your this attribute is going to be so mostly i'll put it under here then every other thing you have to leave it as it is and make sure your texture quality is high then click on start so i've already rendered this out so I'm not, i don't want to go through the whole process of doing that again so let's jump into after effects so instead of after effects here you can see that i have created this composition already this global composition here already so i only did a small animation here just a zoom animation to the max so i zoomed in to the maximum Duration, as you can see here you can't find you can't see any any buildings or anything the first thing the next thing i did was that i imported my the animation i did on google Earth studio and this is it so how to import a image sequence so just double click go you'll find your image sequence here select all of the images just click one and select everything then go down to this multiply sequence and click on it to import everything as one big footage so i've already imported that all i did was drag it into my timeline here and position it depending on your zoom so before i did that i also brought in this image of this cloud which will be like our transition to cut our transition into the other zoom so let me just show you what i did here let me bring this on here so i'll just go forward a bit and let me play this through hold on so it's not the perfect animation i didn't really put much details into this but it's just so just just to show you an example of what you can do and how you can you can really get creative and why one example why i used why i prefer and uh, google studio is that it has a much detailed and um, satellite view than what julia satellite view had so all you have to do is i brought in this cloud then printed the cloud to our control anchor here then normally they will have to be and a lot of clouds just to make this more realistic me personally i don't like go and uh, globe map because it's really tedious and really complex to use so i prefer using just flat normal map, flat maps so this is just the animation here so just zoom in and zoom down to you you have it so i'll just you just have to position it in the right place so the second one is the second method is i've already as you can see i've already created a composition but i'll just show you an example of how to do it. you click on create a new comp so it will be the same resolution as your 
as a re resolution you have here you don't need to link it to your other map then make sure your view is at the country where you want to zoom into then click next then select satellite mine is not loading my image but you have to select satellite then click on create once you've created then from there you have to do your zooming animation you do your zooming animation then attach it here so this is it here I know this is not well did it, but if you've used Julius before, you probably understand what I'm saying here. So I'll just bring up the one for the from Julius and play this back. And you see it's almost the same animation. So you see that the buildings are not very detailed, but it's something you can use. Like this. So you just zoom out and zoom in. It's just a simple animation here. So you see the keyframes here for zoom mostly. So this is how you can maybe zoom from a globe map perspective to to up close view of buildings and like that so just you can use this method to do your own animation you just have to be more precise and calculate how the zoom is going to be to have a more accurate animation and i also have these other simple animations that i made from using flat maps to just and just something i was playing around with so thanks for watching and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if you have any questions please ask me thank you and see you in the next tutorial